Mark Monroe from Ballymena in County Antrim, Andrew Brown from Glasgow, Clive Farrell from Battersea in London, Catherine Turnbull from Corsham in Wiltshire, Tom Fitzpatrick from Cromer in Norfolk, Ed Bolt from Nottingham, John Welch from Dunstable in Bedfordshire, Mervyn Bailey from Rush Green in Essex, Carol Seekings from Esher in Surrey, Jeff Mesnard from Billericay in Essex, Alan Burnham from Bromley in Kent, Edward Trotman from Halbury in Hampshire, Elaine Winter from Whiteleaf in Surrey, Vera Spinks from North Walsham in Norfolk, and Sheila Roberts from Sunderland are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. No previous winner with us today, so we'll start with the finals board. Judging by our finals board competition, most of you expect at least half the names on it to disappear and someone to dislodge Amy Goddell from the number one position. There it is, but the immediate task for today's lineup is to dislodge Jerry Anderson. Let's see if someone with us today can move both Amy and Jerry. Two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive, and we begin with Mark Munro from Ballymena in County Antrim. Mark, premium bonds. At one pound per unit, what's the maximum value of premium bonds that a person may hold? 50,000 pounds. 20,000. Uh. 20, Andrew, the British Isles. Which strait separates the Isle of Anglesey from the mainland? In my nice trip. Clive, please. Sport. Which major event was won by the American Mark O'Meara at Augusta in April of this year? The marathon. Uh. The US Masters. Golf. Catherine, please. During the business of which body might someone rise from their seat and call I spy strangers? In the House of Commons. Indeed. Tom, which Latin phrase, sometimes used in law, means way of working? Modus operandi. operandi. Yes. Ed, please. Films. Dame Judi Dench was nominated for the Best Actress Oscar in 1998 for her role in and as Mrs Brown. Who played Mr Brown, the gilly John Brown, in the film? Billy Connolly. John, please. Opera. Which Puccini opera was left unfinished at his death in 1924? Uh. Turandot. Mervyn, the Commonwealth. What title is held by the Queen's representatives in the countries of which she is head of state? Canada and New Zealand, for example. I don't know. Uh. Governor General. Oh, Carol, please. The Dead Sea lies on the border of which two countries? Um, Israel and Egypt. Israel and Jordan. Jeff, please. Literature. Rudyard Kipling. Which Kipling hero, an Indian water carrier, is killed tending a wounded English soldier? Oh, Arwatha. Gunga Din. Alan, please. The Peerage. Viscount Weymouth is the heir to the Marquis of where? Uh, Westminster. Bath. Edward, please. London, what's the name of the famous toy shop on Regent Street which advertises itself as the finest toy shop in the world? Hamleys. Elaine, please. The monarchy. Which dynasty ruled in England from 1603 to 1714? Stuarts. And Vera, who was the last monarch of the House of Stuart? James. <coughs> Queen Anne. Sheila, please. Shakespeare. Quince the carpenter, snug the joiner and snout the tinker. Characters in which play? Midsummer Night's Dream. And the Royal Family, Mark. Which member of the Royal Family was born on the 10th of June, 1921, on the island of Corfu? Duke of Edinburgh. Andrew, please. The church calendar. The date, please, of Lady Day, the Feast of the Annunciation. April 20th. March 25th. Literature, Clive. Who created the fictional village of Puddleby on the Marsh? I don't know. Hugh Lofting in the Doctor Doolittle stories. Catherine, ancient Roman history, the Vestal Virgins. How many virgins? Seven. Six. Tom, London, the statue of Eros in Piccadilly Circus is part of a memorial to which 19th century philanthropist? Don't know. Lord Shaftesbury. Ed, medicine. What is pyrexia? I have no thanks, idea. No. Fever or high temperature. John, famous couples. Who is the comedy actor husband of the comedy actress Jennifer Saunders? Lenny Henry. Aid Edmondson. Mervyn, please. The Middle Ages. In which century did the First Crusade start? Fifth century. 
11th century. Carol, please. In the Toc H movement, what does Toc H stand for? I don't know. Talbot House. Jeff, science. What name is given to the scientific study of animal history as recorded by fossil remains? Um. Paleontology. Alan, the name, please, of the illiterate Siberian mystic who exercised extraordinary influence over Tsar Nicholas II and Empress Alexandra of Russia. Rasputin. Edward, please. What name is given to the surgical removal and examination of live tissue to determine the cause and extent of disease? Don't know. Biopsy. Elaine, science. Which gas, important in the manufacture of fertilizers and explosives, has the chemical formula NH3? Nitrous hydrogen. Ammonia. And Vera, if something is described as hebdomadal, hebdomadal, how often would it occur? Um, every five uh, months. Weekly. And Sheila, ships in the sea. What's the name of the housing or casing in which a ship's compass is kept? Sextant. Uh, Binnacle. Binnacle. Six down, nine to go. Laura? And they are Clive Farrell, John Welch, Mervyn Bailey, Carol Seekings, Jeff Mesnard, and Vera Spinks. And for the remaining nine contestants, no one has three lives intact. This to start round two, Mark, a correct answer, and we can start nominating an incorrect answer, and I'll move along to Andrew. Which town in Norfolk was one of the great shrines of medieval Christendom? Walsingham. A number, please. Uh, number six. Ed, Roman mythology. The twins, Romulus and Remus, born of a human mother, and which god? It's a wolf uh, god. But... Mars, the god of war. Again, please, Mark. Uh, number 15. Sheila, we call ours motorways. What do the French call theirs? Uh, uh, auto routes. Auto routes. Again, please. Uh, number 11. Alan, in which language is the Magna Carta written? Uh, Norman French. Latin. Again, please, Mark. Number five. Nursery rhymes, Tom. In which Oxfordshire market town would you see a fine lady upon a white horse? Banbury. A number, please, Tom. Four. Catherine, fashion. What name is given to the flared trousers worn by women which are cut to look like a skirt? Collots. A number, please. Number one, please. And this is a mixture of music and food and drink. Which Italian composer, Mark, has a dish of fillet steak served in a particular way named after him? Uh. Rossini. Tornado Rossini. Again, please. Again, Catherine. Uh, number 15, please. Medicine, Sheila. A person with the initials FRCP after his or her name is a member of which institution? FRCP. Society of Pharmacists, isn't it? No, it's a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians. Again, please, Catherine. Twelve, please. Edward, how is the Latin phrase, which means beneath one's dignity, usually abbreviated? No. Infra dig. Again, please, Catherine. Number two, please. And Andrew... Which suburb of Birmingham is perhaps best known for being the home of Warwickshire County Cricket Club? So I don't know. Edgbaston. Again, please, Catherine. Number six, please. And Ed. We call it the Strait of Dover. Specifically, what do the French call that stretch of water? La Manche. No, La Manche is the channel. The Strait of Dover is Pas de Calais. Again, please. Number 13, please. The British Army, please, Elaine. The name of which regiment of foot guards is derived from a small town on the Scottish border? I don't know. Coldstream Guards from Coldstream. Again, Catherine. And number five, please. The Bible, Tom. Genesis. He planted a vineyard and he drank of the wine and was drunken. Whose is the first recorded case of drunkenness in the Bible? Lot. Noah. Catherine, please. Number one, please. Charities, Mark. 
The name pleased of the charity founded in 1870 by a Dublin-born doctor in the East End of London. Boys clubs? Bernardo's. Again, please, Catherine. Number 11, please. And Alan. Theatre, London Theatre. The site of which London Theatre is the oldest site in the world continuously used as a playhouse? Um, Coliseum. Drury Lane. Again, please, Catherine. Number five, please. Tom, the Great Bitter Lake forms part of which famous international waterway? Suez Canal. A number, please, Tom. Thirteen. Opera, Elaine. On with the Motley, a famous aria from E. Pagliacci. The composer, please. Rossini. Leon Cavallo. Again, please. Twelve. Edward, which doctrine originating in the Middle Ages maintained that kings were appointed by and responsible only to God? No. The divine right of kings. <laughs> well, I have to say, I think they were pretty tough questions. Anyway, after the break... Andrew Brown from Glasgow, Catherine Turnbull from Corsham in Wiltshire and Tom Fitzpatrick from Cromer in Norfolk will be here for the final. Do please stay and give them your support. The three surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Andrew Brown, an energy manager from Glasgow. He comes originally from Gifnock, just outside Glasgow, and he works for the local authority, monitoring energy consumption and promoting energy efficiency. His hobbies include surfing and DIY on cars. He also likes to watch and play football, and he supports Aberdeen Football Club. Catherine Turnbull, an administrative assistant from Corsham in Wiltshire. She works for the Ministry of Defence, and her many interests include reading, cycling, cinema, especially 1930s and 40s films, and watching football. She hails from Durham and is a keen supporter of Newcastle United. And Tom Fitzpatrick, a retired serviceman from Cromer in Norfolk. He retired from the Royal Air Force ten years ago, and as a native of Middlesbrough, he is a loyal supporter of Middlesbrough Football Club. He is also very keen on linguistics and phonetics. Thank you. Welcome back. Andrew, Catherine, Tom, a reminder that you have four targets. A win with any score would be fine. A win with a score above 122 for a place on the finals board. A win with a score around 200 for a place in the grand final. And a win with a score above 283 would put one of you in the running for our top of the finals board trophy. Put your fingers on the buzzers and we'll make a start. Here we go. Television and film personalities. Whose name links Monty Python's Flying Circus, A Fish Called Wanda and Forty Towers? Andrew? John Cleese. On we go, please. Which well-known nursery rhyme about a schoolgirl with a domestic animal as a pet was written in... Catherine? Mary had a little lamb. Yes, indeed. The first line being the first word spoken over Edison's invention, the phonograph. Sports and quotations. Which sports commentator spoke the classic line, Do my eyes deceive me or is Senna's lotus sounding... Muddy Walker. Yes, indeed. I have to complete it. Or is Senna's lotus sounding a bit rough? On we go, please. Which magic word was first recorded by the second century Latin poet, Simonicus? Catherine? Abracadabra. Indeed, abracadabra. The name, please, given to the imaginary line on the surface of the earth, joining the north and south poles, and used to mark the internationally agreed start of a calendar day. Catherine? National date line. Yes, the international date line. You have three correct answers. The choice is yours. Question or nominate? I nominate Tom, please. Tom, literature, English literature. With reference to Francis Bacon, who lived in the 16th, 17th centuries, what is the Baconian theory or the Baconian heresy? That he wrote Shakespeare's works. Yes, a belief that Francis Bacon wrote Shakespeare's plays. Tom, question or nominate? Question, please. Universities. What term from the material from which they were built is used to describe universities founded in the late 19th and early 20th centuries in large industrial cities? Red brick. Question or nominate? Question, please. Science. What name is given to the deceptive appearance of a distant object, often inverted, caused by the bending of light rays due to particular atmospheric conditions? Mirage. Yes, Tom, a mirage. Question or nominate? 
Nominate Catherine. Catherine, navigation. KT, the abbreviation KT, when applied to speed, is an abbreviation for what? <coughs> Not, or nautical mile. Tom, again, please, question or nominate. Nominate Andrew. Andrew, World War II, later President of the United States, who was the supreme commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force when the D-Day landings in Normandy were launched? Roosevelt. You're much too young, Andrew. <laughs> Dwight D. Eisenhower. I saw you wince when I said World War II. <laughs> Tom, please, again, question or nominate? Question, please. The royal family, which monarch was the grandfather of the present queen? George V. Question or nominate? Nominate Catherine, please. Catherine, politics. The SDP formed in the 1980s by the breakaway from the Labour Party of the so-called Gang of Four. Two of those four, please. Um, David Steele. Oh. No, it's Roy Jenkins, David Owen, Shirley Williams and Bill Rogers. Again, please, Tom, question or nominate? Nominate Andrew. Andrew, still the Gang of Four, those same four people. Where, these days, might those four meet on a regular basis? House of Lords. Yes. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Tom. Tom, botany. What type of plant is sargassum? Seaweed. Question or nominate? Nominate Catherine. Catherine, place names. Eastbourne, Fishbourne, Pangbourne, Sherbourne. What's the meaning of the word born in those place names? A boundary. A stream or brook. Right, Tom, it's now just you and Andrew. Question or nominate? Nominate Andrew. Andrew, field sports. Who might be known by the abbreviation MFH? <coughs> Master of Foxhounds. Again, please, Tom, question or nominate? Nominate Andrew. The Bible. To whom is the Old Testament book sometimes known as the Song of Songs traditionally ascribed? <coughs> Solomon. <laughs> now, Tom, you have 51 points, your three lives intact. There are 23 questions somewhere, 230, 281. Oh, goodness me, 311 points available. Let's see how many of them you can get. Are you ready? Corfe Castle, scene of a famous Civil War siege, the ferry port of Weymouth and Chesil Beach. They are all in which county? Dorset. Members of which trade or occupation took up surgery after a papal decree in the 12th century forbade the clergy shedding blood? Barbers. Folk wisdom. If you leave a cold alone, it will last seven days. If you treat it, it will be gone in a... what? <coughs> in a week. On we go. Will you please look at that and tell me, that is the Latin version of which classic children's book? Winnie the Pooh? Yes, it is Tom. Right, sport and athletics. For which event is the American Dan O'Brien, with a score of 8,891 points, the world record holder, a record previously held by Britain's Daily Thompson? Decathlon. What word describes a tall, tapering column of stone, much used in Egyptian and Roman architecture, an example of one being Cleopatra's... Obelisk. Yes, but you don't have to buzz in because they're all yours, these questions. You're welcome to, but you don't need to. <laughs> okay, Tom, here we go. They call themselves Inuit, which means the people. What do we call them? Eskimo. Poetry, from a famous poem. Alone, alone, all, all alone, alone on a wide, wide sea. Who in a famous poem was? The ancient mariner. Mythology. In Greek mythology, what was the effect of drinking the water of the underworld river Lethe? Death. Forgetfulness of the past. On we go. Musical families. With some 76 known musicians, to which family does the largest family tree in music belong, with no less than 53 of the 76 given the same first name? Repeat the question, please. Well, I'm, yes, I will, but it's the family name I want. Listen carefully. Musical families. With some 76 known musicians, to which family does the largest family tree in music belong, with no less than 53 of those 76 people given the same first name? Handel. Bark.
Well, there you are, Tom, 121. No place on the finals board, but certainly an invitation to come and join us again later in the year. Well done, indeed. Well done, Andrew. <laughs> well done, Catherine. And well done, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Before we go, and as we've got plenty of time, two things. Firstly, when we were putting together the questions for this series, and we came to the question about the lady who rang the BBC in 1987 to warn them of a storm on the way, and was told by Michael Fish on air that there was no need to worry, there wasn't a storm on the way, it was a question I asked a week or so ago, we rang the BBC to see if they had any record of the lady's name or any other indication as to who she might be. They didn't have a record because, as they told us, reasonably, she only became famous after the event. And we've had lots of letters asking who she was. So if anyone knows who she is, or indeed if you, madam, are watching, do please drop us a line at Regent Productions, Research Department, PO Box 273, London, SW15 1HE. We'd love to hear from you. Secondly, in answer to lots of your letters and the response to the special schools program we produced in the last series, yes, we are thinking seriously about a series of schools programs sometime next year, and we'll let you have more details about it later. And finally, if you'd like a go at 15 to 1, the address will come up at the end of the music. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Tonight on 4, visit Lowe's Gully in Borneo, which is as deep as Everest is high. It's intensely dangerous to explore and subject to extreme temperatures and flash flooding. To the ends of the earth goes to the abyss, tonight at 8 o'clock. And here's the address to write to if you want to audition for 15 to 1. 15 to 1 Auditions, P.O. Box 273, London, SW15 1HE. Postcards only, please.